guys been asking for a guitar tutorial on Round Midnight for so many times I just had to come up with a playable chord melody arrangement of this great jazz standard. Hi my dear jazz guitar enthusiasts around the world, Sandra Sherman here, greetings from Austria. I'll be guiding you through uh, Round Midnight note for note, chord for chord. I've made uh, guitar tabs and backing tracks which you can download from one of the links down below in the description box. Please read the uh, download instructions info right next to these links. Alright, let's get started. We are, of course, in Thelonious Monk's original key of E flat minor, and we have a classic song form A A B A. Each of those four sections are eight bars long, so we have a total of 32 bars. Here we go. All right, here's phrase number one. I start in on the E flat minor chord. We have that here on the A string: six, eight, eight, seven, six, and first. We actually have a rest on beat one, but I I play the the first three strings already A D and uh, G string quietly. Now the melody is playing from the D string upwards, all four strings D G B E string, and then I go into the, uh, back to the inner four strings. So here we go. Down to C half diminished. That's uh, three, four, three, and four of the inner four strings, and I play the G string first because here's a melody tone, and then the inner four strings all together, and then a B string, right? And you see, in 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 for ballads, I do this arpeggiated things when I do a thing when I do chords. I go like instead of just. I go like this, so much smoother, nicer, softer, all right? Then I play the A and D string quietly and 
go down to the second fret, A string, D string, second fret, A string. That's just a little bass line thing, fill, fill her up. This is the beginning of C flat major 7 chord, B major you could also say. So I play that bass note and then the inner four strings, right? Then a B flat 7 sharp 5 chord which leads us back to E flat. Um, 6, 7, 7, 6 by barring, B flat 7 sharp 5 and then a B string 9th fret leads me back to the E flat minor and I just play the first three strings again, like in the beginning. So here's phrase number one at slow tempo. Three, four. And here's phrase number two. We uh, had that E flat power chord in the beginning. Of course, we already shaped the entire E flat minor chord, like in the beginning. That was six, eight, eight, seven, six. And now we play the upper three strings plus the ninth of the E string. Then we go to its five chord, the A flat seven. And actually, all I need to do is uh, put these two fingers here on the eighth fret. So what I get is the A flat 6, 8, 7, 8 of the upper four strings. A flat 7 this is. Then uh, the uh, B string. <clears throat> and now we have four chords in one bar. That often happens with ballads because the tempo is so super slow. And we have a B flat minor 7. I take this chord, a cluster of the B flat minor, that's a triad, and add the seventh on top. So what I get is four, four, three, five of the upper four strings, B flat minus seven. And I play through it once, and then I play the D, G, and B strings. And those are 16 notes, that's quite fast. Then I move that pinky to the fourth fret, I get a E9 uh, without the root, or a B flat minus six actually, it's the same thing. And I do the same pattern, all four strings, and then a D, G, and B strings after one another. Then I move these three fingers, one to the left, and I get B flat minor seven chord. Three, three, uh, two, four. The same thing. I play the E flat seven flat nine, and that's this chord. Two, three, two, three. That's also an E diminished. And now I don't uh, arpeggiate through these strings. I just play this one time and then I play a bass line, F sharp, second fret of the E, G, the third, and that leads me to the A flat minor chord, which I play up until the G string. So that's four of E, four and four of D and G. I don't, I could actually play the B string also, but it's too high for me. That would um, kind of say it's a melody note, but it's just a filler chord. So the filler chord shouldn't be played up that high. So I end on the G string. All right, so that was it for phrase two. Let me repeat that at slow tempo for you. Here's phrase three, the next two bars. We go up here to that A flat minor triad, okay? We were on that uh, lower one, now we're on the upper triad. That's the 13 of G, 12 and 11 played after one another. And the 14th of the E string. That makes for an A flat minor seven chord. D flat seven, that's the same thing we had down here with the E flat. Now it's up here. D flat seven, 11, 13, 12, 13th fret, right? Then you move this down and kind of um, 
squeeze it together on the 6th, 7th, 6th, 7th frets of the upper four strings. That's a D flat 7 flat 9 or a, let's say, A flat diminished. It could be any diminished chord. Each of those notes could be the root. <coughs> then we have it resolves to E flat minor. The whole chord 6, 8, 8, 7, 6 being played through all five strings. Now for some octaves. The D on the fifth of the A and the seventh of the G string, you have to mute in, uh, the, the string in between. And of course the upper strings, so just these two notes should be ringing. Then one to the left, four and six. Then I glide this over and get an A flat seven chord. It's four, four, six. A flat 9, which is the same as a C half diminished, and we had this chord already. That's 3, 4, 3, 4. I glide over to the 6th fret of the B string. And that was it for phrase 3. Let's play that at slow tempo. All right. And here's phrase four. Those are the last two bars of the A1 section. So this is the first ending or the first house, we call it. All right, we have a C flat half diminished. Here's the C on the eighth fret of the E string. We don't play the A, we mute it. Eight, eight, and seven. Eight, 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 seven. Then I do a little filler on the D and G strings. Then I play the B string and do a hammer and pull off, right? But I leave my chord intact. I leave it up here. So everything keeps ringing into one into each other. B7 flat 5. That's 7, 7, 8, 6. And I fill up with uh, by arpeggiating through the entire chord again, but slower. Then the B string again and the uh, G string again. Those are the melody notes, so play them a little louder. Ah, uh, sorry. All right. Then B flat seven, six six seven. I play that once, and then the 8th fret of the D string with my pinky. And now I just fill up. There's no more melody, but there's still almost a whole bar left. So uh, what I do is I play some B-flat altered stuff, some bebop-y kind of thing. Alright, this is a B-flat, let me check this, B-flat... 7 flat 13 sharp 9 chord. 6, 7, 7, 9. Then I uh, uh, put this finger off and I play the 7th of the E string. Then a B flat 7 sharp 5 chord. 6, 7, 7, 6. So I basically just play a melody. Right? Ninth of the uh, B string. Then I uh, lift it off again. And I just play those three now because I want this as melody. Six, seven, seven. Oh, sorry. Then the G string. Now I do a little lick at the end. Six, seven, six, hammer pull off. Ninth of D. And that was it. And now I'm at the beginning. The beginning was that E flat uh, power chord. But what I do now is I want to go to this E flat minor inversion. Try it. I place, uh, what is it, 9, 8, 8 of A, D, and G strings, and then the D string. Instead of this, for the A2 section beginning, I play this. Alright, 
So let me repeat phrase number four at slow tempo. Here is the A2 section. Please repeat phrases 1, 2 and 3 and go straight to phrase number 5, which is this one now. And it's the second ending. We just had the uh, first ending. Now we have the second ending or the second house. Okay, so instead of that C half diminished, we just had with all that fancy stuff. We now play um, a simpler version in the second house. C half diminished again, 8, 8, 8, 7. But now I go to the left and I do this. Instead of this one, I do uh, this hammer and pull off, 6, 7, 6, 8 of G, right? I'll leave this here. And uh, B7 flat 5 again, 7, 7, 8, 6. And now we have a major ending that goes to E flat and we start with the E actually. That's an E major 13. Seven, six, six, fourth of the inner four strings. Then a B string again. And now you move these three to the left and you get six, five, five, four. And that's an E flat six chord. That's an ending chord. I play through all those four strings. And that's a perfect ending. The song isn't over yet. There's a B part and another A part. But um, you can use this for an ending. This is I have a video on endings up here on YouTube. And this is exactly what I explained to you. And this is not something I came up with now. Well, I did somehow. But this is from this song also. It, it uses an E major to E flat. And that's just the way I harmonized it. E major 13, E flat 6. Right. So here's the second house phrase number five, three, four. Welcome to the B section. Here are the next four bars. This is phrase number six. We start with the exact same thing as in the uh, second house. Uh, C half diminished. Eight, 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 seven. Trilla 6 to 7, 8 of G, leave it here, B7 flat 5, we know this already, 7, 7, 8, 6, uh, and then the G string, resolving to B flat 7, 6, 6 of D7, 8 fret of the D string. Now we play the 8 of the B, uh, sorry, the 8 of the G, sorry, and the 6 of the B. And we repeat the first bar, C half diminished, B7 flat, uh, B flat 5, B flat 7 again, this time I bar it because I need the upper structure in a second. But still we play the 6 of E, D and the 7th of G. We stop at G string, we don't play the A string please, so you can't strum through this if we bar. Then I add my ring finger to the 7th fret of the B string. Uh, where are we here? Uh, and I play through the uh, D, G, B and E strings. I don't play the lower two strings anymore, just the upper two, uh, four. Right, so. One more time. And yeah, that was it actually. Let me play this for you at slow tempo. Did it! This is the last phrase of the song because after this one you just repeat the A se section, but we'll get to that. All right, A flat minor seven on the sixth fret of the D, eight seven seven upper four strings. Then the E string twice. F 
have diminished. That's my, in the meantime, infamous uh, piano voicing. People who watch my show regularly know that this voicing is stolen from my pianist, by my pianist. Um, nine, eight, eight, six of the upper four strings, and it refers to an F half diminished chord, but with the ninth and eleventh added to it. Beautiful sound. It's a two that leads to the five chord B flat seven sharp five. We just had this one, the upper part of this bar chord, six uh, seven seven six, right from e, A flat minus seven. E flat minus seven, same as in the beginning, but without the pinky. Now it's an E flat minus seven in a four strings, six eight six seven. B string twice to a 2 5, that's C minor 11. That's like the half diminished but with the index on the sixth fret. 8 8 8 6, C minor 11. Then F7, just the lower part actually. Um, 8 7 8, just these three. I don't play this anymore but I'll leave it there since you know the melody is still ringing. I just need to flip these two fingers. Okay. Here you go. That's a good angle. And now a uh, B flat minor 11. Now we have a, a little sequence here. B flat here is the uh, 8th fret. 8, 10, 9, 11. To its 5 chord, E flat 7 sharp 5. Same as that B flat, but on the E flat. 11, 12, 12, 11. E string one more time. Same for the A flat. Everything down two frets. 6, 8, 7, 9. D flat 13 instead of uh, flat 13. 9, 10, 11, 9. Upper four strings. E string again. Resolution G flat major. That's a regular chord. Check out my video on basic jazz seventh chords. That's very important. Then go to the tension chords. All right. So you have a basic understanding before you play trying to play chord melody. That's so hard to do anyway. You gotta know your chords before that. 9, 11, 10, 11. B flat 13, ah, uh, B13, sorry, here's the B. Nine, uh, 7, 8, 9, 9. Lift this off, press hard against the E string, and you get the 7th, the B, the root, and you play just that tone, right? F minor 11, 3, 5, 4, 6. See, you know all these minor 11 chords now. Here's the root all the time. We had B flat, we had A flat, now we have F minor 11. And the last chord, we know it already, B flat 7 sharp 5 leads us back to E flat. Here's B flat 7 sharp 5, 6, 6, uh, six 7, 7, 6 by Maring. And we're back to the A section. Now let me repeat uh, phrase number 7 for you at slow tempo. 3, 4. Make sure to check out my ballads playlist and my chord melody playlist. I have so many tutorials on great jazz standards and jazz ballads up here on my YouTube channel. Please, uh, if you like the video, give it a fat thumbs up, share the love and the knowledge, and don't forget to subscribe my channel. I see you next week. Servus. Bye-bye.